Resizing photos is a common need among users who need to use their images for multiple different purposes. You may need one size to send via email, another size for use on a web page, and another size to have prints made. Regardless of your intended destination, at some point you're going to need to resize your photos. Let me show you how to do this using the guided edit mode in the Elements 15 editor. Now I'm starting here in the Elements Organizer and I'm going to select this image of the Love Locks and I'm going to go ahead and click on the Editor button to open that image in the Elements Editor. Now when this opens up, I want to go to the Guided Edit mode under Basic Edits and if you scroll up a little bit, you're going to see over here we have the Resize Your Photo option. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Now over here on the right, it walks you through the process. Now you'll notice that we first need to select an output option, which is either print or web. And honestly, the only difference between the two is that it changes the unit of measurement to pixels for web and inches for print. So if you were trying to create an image that was a particular size that's for use on the web, we could click on the web button and in the width field, we could go ahead and type in the size that we want this to be. Now notice the drop down menu here where you can choose the dimension for the long edge, the short edge. You can even choose both the width and height, or you can choose the file size. So if you're trying to create a file that is under a certain size, you could plug in the size that you're looking for. Now I'm going to keep this set to long edge. And let's say we wanted an image that was 600 pixels wide. So I'm going to highlight this value and I'm going to type 600 and I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Now, if you were to go up to the image menu and go to resize image size, you're going to see that this particular image is now 600 pixels wide. And then the height is whatever the proportionate value would be to this size that we plugged in. So I'll go ahead and cancel that. Now, I want to reset this, so I'm going to click on the Reset button. So I want to show you something else here. I'm going to go to the Print button, and this time I want to have prints made of this image. So with the Print button chosen in the Width field, I'm going to go ahead and type 6 inches. Now, when I click Apply, it is going to change the size of this image to 6 inches. But let me show you something you should be aware of. If you go to the Image menu and choose Resize Image Size, you can see that it did in fact change the size of the image, or the width at least, to six and the height to four and a half, but the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. And the thing you should be aware of is that in the guided edit, in the resize area here, it does not take the resolution into account, or I should really say it doesn't adjust the resolution accordingly. So what we've really done is created a low res version of this image that is six by four, and if you were to have a print made of this, it would really not look very good. So I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to reset it again. So if you're trying to resize for print, here's a step you want to take before you go into the guided edit. With this file open, I'm going to go to the image menu, resize, and I'm going to choose image size. And with the resample checkbox unchecked, I'm going to change the resolution to the target resolution that I'm looking for. Most companies that create prints are looking for a resolution of around 240 pixels per inch. So I'm going to type 240. You're going to notice the width and height changes in perspective to the adjustment here. And I'm going to click OK. Now I want you to save this image. So I'm going to go to File and choose Save. And if you want to save it in the version set with the original, you can. I might rename this to Prints. That way I know what this was for. So I'll go ahead and click Save and then click OK. Now if you go back here to the print, you'll notice that that new size has been updated. Now that I change that resolution, if I change the width to 6 inches and click Apply, when I go to Image, Resize, Image Size, now you can see that the size has been adjusted correctly, but the resolution is now at a much higher resolution and the quality of these prints is going to be much, much better. I'll go ahead and click OK and we can go to the Next button and then we can go ahead and save this and then you can go ahead and click Done and close that image. 
Resizing images can be a somewhat complex task. Using guided edit, however, takes the guesswork out of the process so you can resize your photos to the desired size with the greatest of ease.